Roger, how much, if at all, has this craft, this art, changed down the ages? Uh, well, practically not at all, because, um, as you can see, we still use lead, and the glass is exactly made in exactly the same way, and um, there is practically no difference at all, you know. What are the stages for making a glass panel, and can you tell us briefly what point you're at now? Um, well, the first stage is um, the design, which is um, meant here to depict the uh, various things connected with graphic art and painting. Um, you've got a palette formation here, yes, and some geometrical shapes here. And that is your own design? This it? is my own design, yes. How do you get that then to the stage you're at now? Um, well, from this stage, um, you go on to the cartoon, which is an actual working drawing from the design. Um, and then from this, you draw what is known as a cut line. The cut line is then used to form the actual pieces for the finished window, you know. As, uh, this is what I'm doing now. Well, it's very beautiful, Roger. It also has the backing of tremendous tradition. But at this point in time, is it going to survive as a craft or will it die out, do you think? Um, I think it will survive because um, working hours are getting much shorter as time is going on. And uh, I can see it being introduced into evening classes in technical colleges and things like this, you know, because a lot of people can are starting painting and things like this, but th with painting there's no outlet for a craft ability, which some people have got. I mean, some people might have a natural ability to cut glass, and others might have a natural ability to paint the glass. Well, with this process, there are so many f facets of it that, uh, you know, unlike painting, if you, if you can paint, you can paint, but if you can't, it's, you know, it's a hell of a job. But with this, you can find uh, an outlet, one, you know, one, one way or another.